Hello viewers, welcome to Techstar Cell. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use LM317 adjustable voltage regulator to create any regulated voltage you want all the way up to 37 volt. You can easily use it as a variable power supply for lot of projects such as fan speed controller. For this video, we will use LM317T. This suffix T indicate this is TO220 type, which is the most common type. Now from the datasheet of LM317 we can get the recommended operating condition. Here you can see the output voltage can vary 1.25 to 37 volt. After that the input to output differential voltage which can be 3 volt to 40 volt. This means that if you want 6 volt output from the regulator then you have to maintain the input minimum 9 volt. This 3 volt indicate minimum dropout voltage of the IC. Next the output current, it can be varied from 0 0.01 to 1.5 ampere. Next the operating junction temperature, you can see from the reading that normal operating temperature is 0 to 125 degree centigrade. If it cross 125 degree centigrade you have to use heat sink which I will discuss later. Now this is a simple schematic of LM317. As this is a linear voltage regulator, the input voltage is always greater than the output voltage. Now here you can see I have used two capacitor at the input 0.1 microfarad and at the output 10 microfarad. Using this capacitor is optional but this capacitor will increase the stability of output voltage if you have dynamic load connected. Now this is the output equation of LM317. You can see the value of the output voltage V out is depend on these two register. If you want to change the output voltage of LM317, you have to change any of these two register. Now if you observe the pin configuration of LM317 IC, the leftmost pin is a adjustable pin, middle pin is a output pin and rightmost pin is a input pin. So we will modify this circuit with the help of this circuit so that we can easily implement this circuit on the breadboard. Now in this circuit this is adjustable pin, this is output pin and this is input pin. We will supply the V in which is input voltage at the input pin and we will connect the load at the output pin and we will also measure the voltage across the load which is V out with the help of multimeter. Now these two capacitor is used to increase the stability of output voltage. Now here we will change the output voltage by varying R2. Here I have used R10K pot and for R1 I have used a fixed resistor of 220 ohm. I have already built this circuit on this breadboard. You can see this is a LM317 IC with a heat sink. These two are capacitor. This is input capacitor of 0.1 microfarad and this is output capacitor of 10 microfarad. The rating of the capacitor should be greater than the voltage you have used and uh, capacitance value may be higher, no problem with it. And this is a 220 ohm resistor which is R1 is connected between output pin and the adjustable pin. Now with the help of these two crocodile clip, I will connect the potentiometer of 10K. Here I am connecting the 10K port to vary the output voltage. Here as a load, I am using this 12 volt DC motor. Let me connect it. Now I have implemented this circuit on this breadboard. As a load, I have connected this 12 volt DC motor. You can observe the input voltage in this multimeter and here you can observe the output voltage. Now let me power on the circuit. As soon as I turn on the power you can observe the input voltage is showing 12.9 volt and with the help of this potentiometer I can vary the output voltage. Now it's showing 1.2 volt. You can observe. I am now increasing the output voltage by rotating this potentiometer and you can see the output voltage is increasing and motor speed is also increasing. 
now for 12.5 volt input voltage we can get maximum 11 volt output at the output of the IC as I have already discussed about the dropout voltage of the IC which is 2 to 3 volt minimum now if I turn the potentiometer in the opposite direction you will see that the output voltage will be decreased you can see the output voltage now is decreasing and motor speed is also decreasing thus by rotating this potentiometer you can easily vary the output voltage as I am showing you right now thus we can also control the speed of a motor now this LM317 voltage regulator can be also used as a fixed voltage regulator you can generate any fixed output voltage at the output of the IC for that you have to consider this equation suppose for example we want to generate 6 volt at output so V output will be 6 volt and we will use a 220 ohm register as a R1 register now if we determine the R2 value we can easily get the output voltage as 6 by solving this equation let me solve this equation then you can easily understand how to do that now R1 is 220 ohm and you can neglect this term I adjust R2 which is the current through this terminal and the value of the R2 now the value of the I adjust is approx 50 microampere so we will not use this term by solving this equation you will get the value of the R2 now you can see to generate 6 volt at output with R1 220 ohm the value of the R2 should be 836 ohm now 836 ohm is not available so we will use 820 ohm with series of 15 ohm so it will be approximate 835 ohm which is near about 836 ohm so let me build this circuit on this breadboard and we will observe that though we will change the input voltage the output voltage will remain fixed which is 6 volt now you can see on this breadboard I have not used this potentiometer as R2 instead I have used these two register in series this is 820 ohm and this is 15 ohm register so total will get 835 ohm register as R2 to generate 6 volt let me connect the multimeter as a voltmeter and supply the circuit now we can observe the input voltage in this multimeter and the output voltage in this multimeter here the output voltage will be always constant which is 6 volt now I will supply the circuit you can see the output voltage is 6 volt though the input voltage is 18 volt now I am going to change the input voltage and observe whether the output voltage will remain constant or not now you can see I am changing the input voltage but output voltage is remain constant but if I decrease the input voltage below 9 volt then output voltage will not be constant as you can see the input voltage is 6 volt the output voltage is 5 volt as I have already discussed the dropout voltage you have to maintain 3 volt higher input voltage from the output voltage as we want to get the 6 volt at output we have to always maintain the input voltage above 9 volt up to 40 volt then we can always get 6 volt at output you can see for the 10 volt I am getting 6 volt and from the 18 volt I am also getting 6 volt thus we can use this LM317 as a fixed voltage regulator with the help of this simple equation you can generate any output voltage from 1.25 to 37 volt by giving the proper input voltage considering the dropout voltage now we will discuss the power loss or power dissipation within the LM317 IC as this is a linear voltage regulator it is not so efficient from this equation you can see more the power loss will occur if the difference between input and output voltage is more now say the input voltage is 9 volt to generate 6 volt output then the power loss will be 9 minus 6 and say we are drawing 1 ampere 
this I out is 1 ampere current then the power loss will be 3 watt now if we use a 12 volt battery to generate 6 volt output then we can easily determine the power loss or power dissipated within this circuit for the 1 ampere which is 6 watt so this 6 watt power will be dissipated we need this IC so that time you have to use a heat sink otherwise this IC will be damaged thus we can easily calculate the total power dissipation within this circuit and from the data sheet we have already seen this IC can operate 125 degree centigrade if the temperature increase from that level we have to use the heat sink and from the data sheet you can also calculate the amount of increase in temperature per single watt dissipation so it is recommended to choose input voltage such that the difference between input voltage and output voltage become low to increase the efficiency otherwise you have to hit heat sink and the circuit will be not so efficient now from this data sheet which i have downloaded from the texas instrument you can find different type of lm317 circuit for different application now in this circuit you can see this diode d1 is used as a protection purpose if suddenly output voltage increase than the input voltage this diode will give the safe pass for the excess voltage again this d2 diode is used for the same purpose and you can also find different type of circuit for different type of application from this data sheet so you can build this circuit for your required application we have discussed all the features of the LM317 voltage regulator in this video. In the upcoming video, we will discuss about the fixed voltage regulator of 7-8 series. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.